So here we have the Peugeot 2008 Allure uh, on an 18 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see that it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Uh, if we start off inside the boot we can then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the boot you'll notice we have reversing sensors. Plenty of boot space as well along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back round to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see that it's in lovely condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. You get half leather seats, uh, they're as good as new. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. We also have the fuel gauge over on that right-hand side as well. In the middle, you can see we have a digital readout for the speedometer. Uh, and then below that, the total miles for the car, which are 56,238. We back out to the steering wheel. We have stereo controls on the left-hand side, uh, and on the right-hand side, we also have phone controls as well. The phone controls can only be used after such time as you pair up the phone to the car. And that is done over on the touch screen in the centre just here. Hit the telephone icon and follow instructions from there. Uh, when you hit navigation, it will bring up a little notice to let you know that you need to plug in your smartphone via its USB and use the navigation in that way. And when it comes to music in this car, we have plenty of ways we can listen to that. And they are being shown on screen now. It's a little hard to see because of the sunlight. We have radio. We have USB input there as well. Plenty of ways to listen to your music overall in this car. Working our way down from there, we have the dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed. Uh, you can determine where you'd like the air to be diverted once it enters the car. When you're happy with those settings, this button turns your air conditioning off, back on again, or hit auto, and the car will now maintain those temperatures for you, which you can hear it doing by taking full control of the fan speed on your behalf. Uh, and again, you can override that whenever you wish to. Above that, we have our hazard warning lights and deadlock so you can lock the car doors from the outside. We have a USB input and auxiliary input for your music, a 12 volt charging socket as well underneath this cap just here, and then a five speed manual gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Glenbourne's. We'd love to hear from you soon.